All right, recently I purchased, uh, picked up a couple of these um, these LED lights, these park hands uh, off of eBay. I'll put a link in the description below. I uh, also picked up the Chauvet DJ Obey, uh, Obey 3 um, off of Amazon as well. Great functioning uh, light board. So picked up some of the DMX cables as well. And uh, had a lot of hard time trying to figure out the um, the dip switches to make these work. So here's what I figured out. It's a very short um, video. These lights, um, in short, don't necessarily work with this board. And I'll show you why. Uh, the correct setting for these particular lights is uh, your 1 and your 10 dip switch need to be on or down. Uh, for these particular lights and again, I'll put the description uh, or the link for these in the description But basically here's what happens. These lights are four channel lights um, This board only controls three uh, three meaning your uh, RGB red green and blue So if you hook these up you have your dip switches on the 1 and 10 which should put it into DMX mode uh, you flip a switch, um, things come on, you can go to the manual RGB, and basically what ends up happening, this ends up being um, basically a fader, um, and then halfway up it'll do a strobe, and then it'll go to full, full on. But if you look here, this one says red, green, and blue, but what happens is once this is up to give it power, you go to this, and it is red. All right, so there's full intensity red, and then there's blue um, and then you would have green okay so basically what I'm learning is because this is a four channel fixture and this is only a three channel board it's bumping it down so basically this would be bumped down one more and so it's for whatever reason it's flipped the green and blue so basically we have red and then blue and then if you had another channel it'd be green now with this particular board even if you have it um, even if you're not using the manual and you go over to use any of these none of those functions work doesn't matter how you cut it it's just not speaking the same language um, so by doing this again you can see it does work um, and then halfway down it starts to begin to, to strobe and then it'll come on full again and then you can fade that uh, that way so if you're looking for for um, a good little system to do some up lighting which was what we wanted to do here in our church um, just to do some wash lighting that kind of thing this particular board with these particular lights won't work. So I'll put the description in there. After talking with somebody from Chauvet, they um, said don't don't even go with the the Obey 10. They said go with like the Obey 40 um, or something above that, or or rather go with the Obey 10 or the 40. Um, and looking at that, we're just going to go with the Obey 40 board because um, the functions it has more functions, and I think it's like five cents cheaper on Amazon. So anyway, if you're wondering about those dip switches, uh, to make this work, it really doesn't work with this particular board, but one in 10 will get you where you need to be to function it in DMX mode. Um, so anyway, if you're looking for all those functions, there's a great site out there through uh, Chauvet that you can use the calculator to figure out what channel they need to be on if you wanna run multiple channels of those lights. So uh, if you're gonna go with a simple combination like we tried with these park cans of which there's no name on them, they're you know, Japanese or whatever. Um, there's no name, no markings on them, whatever. But if you're going to go with these lights and this board, you won't be able to do it. So just just a heads up um, on making that work. It doesn't. But you can make it work if you just upgrade your board to be able to run the multiple channels that this particular fixture will do. Hope that helps.